what's a good um, workout regime or what's a good focus for someone who's got a scoliosis and sort of a kyphosis with forward head translation to, so to give you an idea of what that looks like in a person it might be something like that and then from the side they're kind of like that so that's that hunched position and the two unfortunately do go quite closely together or co-occur quite frequently the first the most important thing with these sorts of patients or if you're suffering with this is exercises that actually bring the head back that's really really important now if you've seen some of our other videos you'll know about the difficulty with understanding how the head's going forwards um, so you want to make sure you you either watch that video you can probably put a link in the description about that uh, later on but if your head's going forwards in this fashion which is one of the common variants then doing exercises to draw that head back and bring that chest up so that's going to be things like reverse flies doing reverse flies with the palms up will help build the bit between the shoulder blades a little bit lower down not so much the upper five digit pieces but in the middle portion between the shoulder blades and that's a really really good one you do it with good posture with your chest out forcing your body up into that upright position and then squeezing the shoulder blades together at the back. Do this nice and slowly with a cable system. I'd say this is preferable to doing it bent over with dumbbells just because you've got less loading on the spine. It'll be better for your lower back. The next thing to do would be some sort of rows. Now the rows will strengthen up the larger muscles, the lat dorsi, and to a certain degree those same muscles as well. So you're getting a nice strong support for that posterior chain, which is basically starts at the base of your skull and comes all the way down to here, arguably lower down into the legs. And that's just going to help oppose this and bring you back upright, which is really, really important. So that kind of addresses the kyphosis and the forward head carriage. From a point of view of the scoliosis, that's much more difficult. But what you want to essentially do is do exercises which are going to provide a degree of compression through this part of the, of the, of the lumbar spine. So that's things like vacuums, abdominal vacuums, engaging your core muscles to draw them in towards the middle. I wouldn't be doing repetitive sit-ups or anything like that. That said, you can do hanging leg raises where you're hanging to the support of here in the gym and just bringing your knees up. That helps just engage these muscles without squashing the spine too much. And then things like abdominal wood chops in an upright neutral position. The key with these is to keep your spine as neutral as possible and increase the, comp the compression inwards from the side because what your body is trying, it will happen under gravity, is it's going to compress down like that. And if you've got integrity squashing in, it's going to at least oppose that and hold you as, towards the middle as much as possible. And that really is a nice sort of 360 degree workout. Now you can add in things that target those muscles yourself, um, but that would be a nice basic one. Reverse flies, some sort of rows, and then some vacuums alongside abdominal rotations. That would be nice and good. Do not try and do side bends to oppose it asymmetrically. You're not going to be specific enough you can't be that specific with these joints. All you'll end up doing is making the problem arguably a little bit worse. So don't try and do side bends the other way. It just doesn't work.